Everybody likes boobs. Women like boobs. Men like boobs. Babies love them. And if your game has female characters, you might want to have some jiggle physics. You know, for the sake of realism. So here's how to make boobs physics in Godot. But first, a friendly reminder that you should join our Discord server, a cool community of artists, game developers, musicians, gamers, weeps, writers, horror fans, PS1 fans, people who want to learn how to make games or how to make PS1 graphics, etc. Link is below. Okay, let's make some goofy looking jiggle boobs and let me know in the comments what video game boobs physics you remind, you remember being ridiculous. I mean, everybody knows that are alive, but let me know if you have another ridiculous example. You know, for research purposes, we're game devs here, okay? This is for science. So first of all, you need to be sure that your 3D model has some boobs, obviously, but not only that, but you need to add bones to the boobs. Boob bones, if you will. Try to put the bones in a position similar to this one you see here. Remember that boobs are not spheres, but more like drops or droplets that hang a little from the top part of the chest to the bottom. Last thing you want is the uncanny perfect spherical breasts. From the front, the bones should look something similar to this, and from the side like this, coming almost from the armpit to the front part of the boob. Play around with the boobs and <laughs> play around with the bones and see how the breast moves using your mouse to simulate the jiggle until you have something kind of good enough. Super important, be sure to name the bones since we're going to need to know what they're called later on. Now we need an add-on for Godot called Jiggle Bones. This is an add-on that someone made back in 2018 and nowadays it has some issues. But luckily, thanks to the awesome Godot community, the user Yael Atletl fixed it. Although from what I've read, there is still some issues, but for me the only issue was that sometimes the Jiggle physics stopped working on the inspector, but in the game everything's fine. So I never encountered something really broken, but apparently some people did. Because of this, if you have some issues, join our Discord server and maybe we can fix your issue together and upload a better version of the add-on to GitHub. Anyway, the link to the add-on is in the description below. So you want to download the zip file and drag and drop everything into your project first. You'll get this pop-up window, just click reload. Now we need to enable the add-on. So we're going to go to project settings and into the plugins tab, we're going to have a new plugin called Jigglebone. Click on enable and close the window. Notice that the plugin has a scene to show how everything works. You can play around with it to learn a little bit more about it. Now what you want to do is import your model into Godot and create a new scene where the game is going to take place. I added a shader to my model to make her look like anime because I am a man of culture, of course. Now notice that she's doing the running animation without any bounce in her chest. Now we select the skeleton node and add a jiggle bone as a child. Next in the jiggle bone properties under bone name, we write the name of the bone we want to jiggle. In my case is boob.r. Notice how the right boob is bouncing a little now, and we can repeat the same process for the left one. And I forgot to mention, you need to select the forward axis for your character. In my case, my character front is on the positive Z axis, so I select Z+. The add-on has also a few parameters such as stiffness, damping, and gravity for you to play around with depending on how realistic you want your boobs behavior. So depending on what type of boobs you want, if you're going for a more ridiculous approach like a dead or alive kind of thing or a more realistic a la Metal Gear Solid 5, you're gonna have to play around with these properties. I found that this set of parameters work well enough for me since I want goofy bouncy physics, this is an anime character after all. But you should do your own boobs experiments kits to find the best parameters for you I guess. So here's the end result, an anime waifu with boob physics. God bless video games, right? Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe, like and share. If you have any questions or your boobs are glitchy, <laughs> let us know in the Discord. Uh, I just found out about this add-on and I thought it was pretty funny, but apparently some people are having issues with it. So maybe if we can help you out with 
with it on Discord. If you happen to have some trouble or setting it up or something, maybe we can uh, fix some of the of those issues and upload a better version of it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.